I told you, I told you. The Democrats have had their official sit down and they've decided Cuomo, he gotta go. Let me ask you a question. Before we cornered you in the porta potty, he's not gonna know I told you? We could have no problem, believe me. What are you gonna do? There'll be no mistake now. I can't believe I stuck up for him. I feel like I've been stabbed in the heart. We can't have him here in our social club no more. I mean, that much I do know. The social club? He's got to go. But Cuomo's decided he ain't going anywhere. <music> On Friday afternoon, Chuck E. Cheese Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand finally decided to break their radio silence and join some other New York Democrats, including AOC and Jerry the Nads Nadler, and calling for the resignation of Andrew Cuomo. We know that over 50 Democrats within the state legislative body are calling for the removal of Andrew Cuomo. Republicans have introduced and are putting together articles of impeachment. It looks like there's Democratic support for that. And this is about to get, as we should say, very interesting. Bill Maher, on his program Friday night, basically said, well now, look, do you think that because uh, Donald Trump constantly doubled down, this has been kind of the new example that uh, politicians follow? Wait a minute. Hold it. Bill, let me clear up some of your confusion with a few facts. What was it Donald Trump was accused of while serving as president? Russian collusion. You don't resign if you know you didn't do anything. You don't resign over a law. You force them to play it out so that you can expose the lie, which is exactly what Donald Trump did. Now, as far as his so-called behavior with women, well, there weren't any accusations brought against him while he was president. Now, as far as the infamous tape of Donald Trump making comments about what he could get away with, what he could touch, grab, because he was a TV star, a personality, uh, that was decades before he ever considered a run for the presidency. I would also remind Bill Maher that the reason that Andrew Cuomo may be emboldened to hang on during this onslaught of sexual accusation against him. It has nothing to do with Donald Trump. How about Bill Clinton? How many women came forward while Bill Clinton was president and nobody wanted to hear what they had to say? Nobody was willing to listen or to give them credence except right-leaning media. And then, of course, it was... Bills as this, quote, right-wing conspiracy. Isn't that what Hillary Rodham Clinton referred to it? This vast right-wing conspiracy. And then it happened. Monica Lewinsky led to an entire investigation and impeachment trial. And Bill Clinton managed to hang on. Now we look back and we've got all the Me Too gang and even some... Democrats like Kirsten Gillibrand talking about how awful that was. He he never should have stayed on. That's funny they say that now. And it took Kirsten how long to get to that conclusion that Andrew Cuomo's got to go? She came to it really quickly when it was Al Franken and she wanted to be part of that whole Me Too thing because she was going to spend 15 minutes running for the presidency. So... Now, you have Democrats that are stepping up and saying, hey, look, this is enough. He's got to step down. But a defiant Andrew Cuomo, a guy who lives in his own head, a guy who has been emboldened his entire life, we now even have his former wife coming forward and saying he was a bully and she kept herself locked away in the bathroom. And again, very rarely do I 
buy into the so-called tell-all books by former associates, former spouses, etc. Because, you know, everybody's got an axe to grind. Number one, they're trying to sell a book, and they're trying to sell their own celebrity by tearing down the celebrity by which they are writing about. And I, I, I get all that. And there's always a he said, she said in every type of marital dispute. But what starts to give this even more credence is you've got now six women. Six. And there's a, a, a pattern of behavior here that, I'm sorry, but you even have people like Bill de Blasio saying, you know, we've seen it. It isn't like this was a secret in New York politics. It isn't like this is a secret among Democrats. We know that Andrew Cuomo is a bully. All you have to do is just watch his pressers, and he bullies and intimidates. Uh, I am sure Hollywood, after, you know, thinking they had finally weathered the Harvey Weinstein storm, turns around, gives this guy an Emmy for the way he handled the pandemic briefings, and Shazam Batman. Look at it. It's old Harvey all over again. Um... Bill Maher actually, a couple of weeks ago, uh, did one of the first comedians to really hit Andrew Cuomo hard. So this is a terrible time for his book to come out, Governor Cuomo's big book of pickup lines. You make my heart race like COVID through a New York State nursing home. Terrible pickup line. But... Emboldened by Bill Clinton, emboldened by the governor of Virginia, who despite being caught in blackface, he didn't step down. He weathered the storm. Andrew Cuomo is just narcissistic enough to believe he can weather this. He's got this. He's got this. And that's exactly now what he's saying. Politicians who don't know a single fact but yet form a conclusion and an opinion are, in my opinion, reckless and dangerous. The people of New York should not have confidence in a politician who takes a position without knowing any facts or substance. That, my friends, is politics at its worst. Politicians take positions for all sorts of reasons including political expediency and bowing to pressure. But people know the difference between playing politics, bowing to counsel, cancel culture, and the truth. People know the difference between playing politics, bowing to cancel culture, and the truth. Let the review proceed. I'm not going to resign. I was not elected by the politicians. I was elected by the people. Part of this is that I am not part of the political club. And you know what? I'm proud of it. Uh, this is all that I'm going to say on this topic at this time. I made a promise to the people of the state. I have a job to do. I've been doing it for 11 years. This is probably the most critical time in the state's history. Uh, everything that I have learned, the federal government, as attorney general, as governor, uh, I am bring, bringing to the table at this moment. We have a budget due in two weeks for a state that is in fiscal crisis. Governor Cuomo said that he has never propositioned anybody. Do you believe that he was propositioning you? Yes. For what? Sex. I think he felt like he was untouchable in a lot of ways. And then he explains at that point that he is looking for a girlfriend. He's lonely. He's tired. He asked if I had trouble enjoying being with someone because of my trauma. This is, seems highly inappropriate. The governor asked me if I was sensitive to intimacy. In his office? Yes, during the workday. He also 
explained that he was fine with anyone over 22. And how old are you? 25. What were you thinking as he's asking you these questions? I thought, he's trying to sleep with me. I'm deeply uncomfortable, and I have to get out of this room as soon as possible. Without explicitly saying it, he implied to me that I was old enough for him and he was lonely. When I was even thinking of coming forward, I think that was where I held the most shame. I really was uncomfortable. I was just terrified. People will watch this and say, why didn't you get up and leave? It didn't feel like I had a choice. He's your boss. He's my boss. He's everyone's boss. Did you misinterpret him? No. I understood him loud and clear. It just didn't go the way he planned. Did you watch Governor Cuomo's apology? I did. It's not an apology. It's not an issue of my feelings. It's an issue of his actions. The fact is that he was sexually harassing me and he has not apologized for sexually harassing me. And he can't even use my name. Let's not forget, we're dealing with a serious personality disorder that thinks he's on a higher level than God. The number is down because we brought the number down. God did not do that. Fate did not do that. Destiny did not do that. A lot of pain and suffering did that. Well, it will be interesting to see, do the Democrats actually really have the leverage to back up what it is that they want Andrew Cuomo to do? Will they do the right thing here? Or is it just going to be more lip service and they'll find yet another cartoon character to take out their Me Too frustrations on. Hey, that's it for this rant. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're a subscriber to the channel because, you know, the great purge is on at YouTube. And smack the bell, click the word all to get notification of my next rant.